Hello, lovely English learners. In today's video, we are going to learn conversational English, English slang, English words that people actually use in conversation by watching another interview. And this time, we will watch an interview of an actor from the hit Netflix series, Stranger Things. His name is Noah Schnapp, and he plays Will Byers on the TV series. He is being interviewed by late night TV show host Jimmy Fallon about the new season of Stranger Things. You will learn new, advanced, everyday English vocabulary that is actually useful. If this is something that interests you, keep watching. So now we are going to watch the first of four clips and learn some everyday English vocabulary from that clip. Welcome back. Thank you, uh, thank you. It's great to be back. Uh, I, I, well, let's talk about this. Uh, volume one is, is of season four is breaking all sorts of records. I mean, just smashing the records. It's... It is number one on Netflix in over 80 countries. This fourth season just came and and oh my god it's like it's chaos but i love it this is no. the biggest show ever i know and i love how they split it into the two volumes because it keeps like the the hype going and it's, yeah it's, it's but great. it also keeps you from telling spoilers because yeah well i mean i actually have made some mistakes there <laughs> i because i you know what i literally just realized this today i was going through my instagram and i saw because i don't know am i allowed to like spoil volume two no i don't know <laughs> Because I posted stuff on my Instagram and of like an explosion or something, and it's from the second volume, and people were like, you, is this an, a spoiler? And I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna get in trouble. So I, I literally just <laughs> took it down. It's like, it's chaos, but I love it. Chaos is a lot of disorder or a lot of confusion. So maybe Noah considers the attention and all eyes on him and Stranger Things as being chaotic. So chaotic, that's the adjective. It's crazy, it's confusing. Let me give you another example of the word chaos. When I think of chaos, I think of the traffic. When I visited the city of Hanoi in Vietnam, it looks kind of chaotic. It looks kind of confusing and a little bit scary. And you can see it in this video right here. Um, you can also think of little kids on the playground. That's chaos as well. It's a lot of children running around. They're probably bumping into each other. It's just chaotic. So this is one of those words that is spelled very differently from how it is actually pronounced. It looks as if it might be pronounced chaos, chaos, but it is not. It is just chaos, chaos. I love how they split it into the two volumes because it keeps like the, the hype going. And hype is talk or attention that is meant to cause excitement about something. So Noah mentions that because the new season of Stranger Things has two volumes instead of just one, it keeps the hype going. It keeps everybody excited and talking about it. Usually when there is something new, there is a lot of hype around it. A new perfume, or car, or movie usually receives a lot of hype. Am I allowed to like spoil volume two? No. So Noah mentions that he might have spoiled an episode from the show in volume two, where he mentioned an explosion. A spoiler is just information about a movie, a book, that is given to people who have not seen it yet or who have not read that book yet. So in Noah's case, no one knew about this explosion because volume two had not been released yet. So he spoiled it for everyone. 
Now let's take a look at the next clip and go over some vocabulary. I know from the, the whole cast yeah. has been on the show, they call you the Tom Holland of Stranger Things <laughs> because, because you spoil everything. No, it's not, it's not the greatest title to have. <laughs> no offense to Tom Holland, yeah. but uh, I mean, you know, I own it and I, the fans love getting those spoilers. <laughs> you guys love the spoilers, right? Yeah, they do. See? <laughs> Uh, I'll keep them coming. You know, you know uh, uh, I, I actually wanted to ask you something because this is season four and Will Byers uh, still has the same uh, haircut. It's rough. It's the greatest, it's the greatest <laughs> haircut in any uh, television show, I would say. But are the Duffer brothers just doing it to mess with you? Honestly, I think at this point they are <laughs> because I've been begging them since season two to, yeah. to get rid of the bowl cut. And, and we're on season four now and they were like, get ready for season five because it's not going away. <laughs> and I was like, what? No, it's not, it's not the greatest title to have. <laughs> no offense to Tom Holland. We say, no offense when we do not want to be rude or insensitive to someone else's feelings. So Noah mentioned that he doesn't think being likened to Tom Holland, being called Tom Holland is a good thing, but throws in the phrase, no offense to Tom Holland, meaning he doesn't want to be offensive. He doesn't want to be rude to Tom Holland when he says that. So for another example, I could say, no offense, but I'd rather not have your cooking today. No offense, but I don't want to go out to eat with you, right? We don't want the person we are talking to to be upset. So we say no offense. And but to be honest, though, most of the time, the person is still upset or angry, even when you say no offense. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, you know, I own it. Owning it or to own it can mean many different things. But in this particular case, we use own it to mean be proud of, to not be ashamed of a quality or characteristic you have. Maybe you have heard this phrase, to own your flaws. It just means to be proud of the things that make you imperfect. Here, Noah is saying that he owns his title of being a show spoiler. What is a characteristic you have that you own? Perhaps a characteristic that isn't seen as so good. Let me know in the comments. This is season four and Will Byers uh, still has the same uh. haircut. <laughs> it's rough. We can say something is rough if we want to portray that something is unfair or difficult. So Noah mentions that having the same haircut for many seasons, a haircut he doesn't really seem to like is rough. It is unfair to him. For another example, I could say that that test today was rough, meaning that test today was difficult. Or I could say this father seems to be having a rough day meaning a difficult or an unfair day. But are the Duffer brothers just doing it to mess with you? To mess with someone is informal. It means to annoy or cause trouble for someone. So Noah thinks that the producers of the TV series are messing with him by not allowing him to change the hairstyle that he doesn't like. They are annoying him, okay? For another example, I could say, I didn't want to hit Jimmy, but he kept messing with me. Or, I wish those kids at school would stop messing with me. I just want to learn, meaning, I wish they would stop annoying me. Next clip in three, two, one. Well, I thought it'd be kind of fun if, if we oh, got some God. other 
I got some wigs oh of my different God. hairstyles from the 80s. Okay. And I thought maybe we could try them on just Let's in case Will wants to switch up the characters and try a different hairdo. What if you got a perm? <laughs> oh my. Yeah, so it can I try. Well, maybe I, I'll put it on. Okay. All right, Duffers, if you're watching this, this is try one. I kind of dig that one. I, that yeah. one I kind of dig. I do it. You can pull that off. I, you got to try this one on. Uh, oh, sure, of course. Uh, <laughs> He-Man, He-Man was big in the 80s. Here. So I thought a He-Man wig could be kind of rad as well. What? I, I, I think this one. I like this guy. This is awful. I kind of dig that one. I, that yeah. one I kind of dig. And next we have a slang term, to dig, to dig. This just means to like something, to think something is kind of cool. So Jimmy digs Noah's wig. For another example, I could say, I really dig your outfit today. Or I could use it in the present continuous tense. I'm really digging this new show on Netflix. You can pull that off. And to pull something off is to be successful at something, to achieve something. So Noah pulled off being able to wear this wig. He can make the wig look nice on him. He succeeded. So for another example, I could say, you got offered five jobs in one week. I could never pull that off, meaning I would never succeed at getting that many job offers. Or you could say, I never thought he would lose all that weight, but he pulled it off, meaning he succeeded in losing all of the weight. And now let's take a look at our last clip and go over some vocab. Put, put that guy back on and I, I actually have the, uh... I have a wig of actually your hair from the from. Oh Sarah. no! Oh, so perfect. <laughs> so if you want so someone to play your That's older, exactly what I look like. Yeah, like a secret brother that you never thought. You could be my my a photo secret, double. A photo double. If yeah. you need a stunt double or anything like that, I'm your guy. All right, I'll yeah. let them know. Uh, I don't want any spoilers. Uh, what can we say about? Okay, volume, I volume forgot two. we're like on a talk show here. Okay, <laughs> we can expect from volume two. We got some, some deaths coming, some, some gore, and a big Wow, that's a bang. big spoiler. Noah Schnapp, everybody, Noah! We can expect from volume two, we got some, some deaths coming, some, some gore. And, and next we have gore, gore. Gore is violent scenes or images with lots of blood. So horror movies have lots of gore, usually, sometimes. Some people love gory movies and some people hate it. Let me know in the comments, do you like gore in movies? I actually do. That is the end of today's lesson, my friends. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a like. Write a comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe to this channel if you'd like more interview type authentic English lessons such as this. And until next time, English learners.